Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today I'm so excited because I just got my Too Faced package in the mail. Don't worry, I lice all it. And um, I have not opened it yet, so we're gonna open it together. And then I'm gonna try to do a whole face of just Too Faced products. I had a lot of Too Faced products, but there was a few things that I needed to do a whole face. So, let's open it up. Okay, so, got some goodies in here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, so, I did get the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And it's translucent. So, no color. Okay, it says it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. Arsuki, suki. Our silky lightweight powder sets makeup for longer wear while providing a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way. So, there is that. This is what it looks like. Okay, we're not gonna make the same mistake we made in the last video and dump it everywhere. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, it looks like it opens. There we go. So this has a nifty little thing on it. It opens and you can shake some powder out and use it and then close the lid like this. Pretty neat. Moving on. I also got the Sun Bunny Radiant Duotone Bronzer. I love Too Faced packaging on everything. It's so pretty. Gold and pink are my two favorites. So I just love all their stuff. Okay, so this is what the bronzer looks like. It's got a little heart here and we open it up. Oh, so pretty. Next, I've got the Chocolate Brow knee brownie but it's like brownie and it's the 12 hour wear cocoa powder brow pencil i got the shade deep brown um and i have used this before and it smells like chocolate which is another thing i love about Too Faced products all their stuff smells like what it says like oh, it smells so good everything this is what it looks like um, on one end, it's got the twist up pencil for your brows. And it's kind of like a funky shape, but it helps you do like natural hair strokes. And then the other end has a spoolie brush, so you can comb them out. Then I also got this Tutti Fruity Twinkle Twinkle um, Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. And I got the shade Sweet Spot. And it is a high shine glitter for sparkly eyeshadow looks, which I'm so excited about. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. This is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. Look at this, y'all. Oh. Okay, and then the last two things, these are just two samples that I got of the Comfort Matte Foundation, the Peach Perfect. I got the shade Latte and the shade Taffy. I'm hoping that they're gonna be right, but I really don't know, so we'll see. Okay, so I've got my wet makeup sponge, and we're gonna open these up and see what kind of colors we got going on. All right, this is the shade Taffy. Let's see what it looks like. There's a lot in here, so you could probably get away with using this twice. All right, Taffy. Hmm. It does have a peach smell. So I've got the foundation pretty much done. Um, it does seem to have really good coverage and you know, it says it's matte foundation. Um, when I was first putting it on, it kind of looked like it might be 
a little shinier and not so matte, but it's actually starting to turn kind of matte, so um, it's kind of mattifying. I don't know if that's a word, but it's starting to uh, mattify on my face a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and this is in the shade Fairest. Concealer has to be one of my favorites um, because it never it never really creases and it always just seems to blend out really well on my face. Okay, next I'm gonna try out the setting powder that I just got. So we'll see how this works. I have never tried their setting powder before. I'm gonna give it a little tap. Okay, that worked pretty good. It just dispensed a little bit. So, I'm going to take my sponge. Okay, that seemed to do actually a really nice job of um, setting my makeup and smoothing it out. Good job so far. I'm liking it. All right, next we're going to go in with another thing that I had just got. I have used a lot of their bronzers before. This one in particular is one of my favorites. It's, this is actually an older, an older one, but um, it is the Chocolate Celeal Bronzer. Um, so this is one that I've used for a long time. I've also tried their Sweetie Pie Bronzer. And I actually used this one in one of my videos, but um, I liked that one too, so... Too Faced is pretty good about their bronzers. I'm hoping that I'll like this one. This is more of a, um, like a glowy type of bronzer. They give you kind of like that sun kiss look. So I wanted to try that out since it's getting warmer outside. Hopefully it works good with my skin tone. Next, we are going to contour the nose. I think I'm just going to use this lighter side. It's got two sides that you just kind of swirl around, but I'm going to use the lighter side. All right, so, so far, I do like the bronzer. I think next we're going to do brows. So, let's go in with our chocolate brownie. We're going to comb out the brows. As you can see, I've got a little bald spot here. I don't know why. This edge is really nice because it just creates the like skinniest little line that's perfect for carving out your brows so I like that I've got this one scraggler is it scraggler straggler scraggler Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna quit messing with the brows. Um, I do love this brow pencil. Normally, I like um, a brow palette with like a wax and and like um, shadow type powders in them, but this actually. I had this a while back, but it, I think it was in the wrong color. It was not dark enough. This is actually the right color for me, I think, and I really like how it turned out. So, love it, and it smells like chocolate. Okay, next, we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. From Too Faced, I have got the White Peach Palette. Let me just show you all the Too Faced that I have have this little Christmas gingerbread kit that came out um, last Christmas that I got. It's got some pretty sparkles here. 
And then it's also got this big palette. I used the fire out of this thing around the holidays. And this is like a little magnet that sticks on. And it also came with a, um, a little highlighter top that goes on it. But just talking eyeshadow. So I've got this. I've got the pumpkin spice, which is also one of my favorites. I've gotten some good use out of this one. I've got the gingerbread extra spicy palette with all these pretty colors in it. And I've also got this Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette. This is what it looks like. And I probably have more floating around somewhere, but I can't keep up. I think today we're going to use the white peach palette because the other ones are kind of more holiday-ish. Pumpkin, gingerbread, gingerbread. As much as I love the colors in them and they, I mean, you can wear, wear them year round. I wear them year round. Um, I think we'll go with the peach just because, hey, it's springtime, peaches. And it also smells like peach, just like the um, foundation that I used. So, I want to try to do a look that I can use my new pretty gold eyeshadow with. So, maybe we'll do like peaches and gold. What do y'all think? That'd be pretty. Let's try that. Okay, so, I do also have some Too Faced brushes. These are really cute. They have little stars. They're pink and gold. Um, so I'm going to use some of these since I'm doing Too Faced look, I'll use some Too Faced brushes. I'm going to start out by taking this little fluffy, um, I think it's like a blender brush for your shadow. And I'm going to go into Peach Suede, which is right here. <laughs> Then, on that same brush, we're going to go into this color over here, and it's called Creme de la Peach. And we're just going to go in the crease as well, but not as high up. With the other color I kind of blended up here, we're just going to kind of stay down here in the actual crease with this orangey, peachy color. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my pretty sparkle. This is the liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Spot. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. It's got this little applicator here. So let's see how it works. Ooh. Look at the sparkles, yes. I will say I am not usually a fan of wet or liquid anything other than foundation and concealer. Um, I do not like liquid bronzers or blushes or usually I really hate liquid eyeshadows. I feel like they crease and they're just, they make my eyeball feel wet and sticky, which I don't like at all. Um, but I'm letting this dry out and I actually think it's really pretty. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Actually 
actually turned out really pretty. I do think I kind of want to clean up the edge real quick. So I'm going to take this smaller. This is the brush I was using. This one's just slightly smaller. Um, so I'm going to go in with this one. This is also a Too Faced brush that I had gotten in like a little um, holiday kit. But I'm going to go in to that same peach suede color right here that we used and try to just clean up that edge a little bit. <laughs> Okay, for the bottom um, lid, I'm going to go in to this color here called Peaches and Dreams right here. And I'm taking that smaller brush and I'm just going to go on the lower lid. Got powder flying in my hair. Oof. Okay, next I'm going to take my Too Faced. Better Than Sex um, liner. This is the Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Liner. And it's got like this fine brush on the end. And we're gonna go ahead and do just a, a natural line, I think. <laughs> told y'all I cannot lie my eye without holding it. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so I've got just kind of a simple natural line. Okay, next we're gonna take our Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which y'all know is my favorite mascara. And we're gonna go ahead and do the mascara. Okay, so I went in with my mascara, I did the top lashes and the bottom lashes, and next we're going to do highlighter and blush. So as far as highlighters go for Too Faced, I have got... This one, this is the Pink Lemonade Highlighter Stick. And again, for some reason, I'm just not crazy about liquid highlighters or creams or anything like that. I just like a powder highlighter. I've tried this one before and it's pretty, but I just don't like how sticky it is. And then it's like once it dries, it like makes your foundation look kind of clumpy. Um, I've tried several different techniques and I'm just not crazy about it. It does smell so good, like pink lemonade, but um, I just can't figure out quite the right way to use that one. So this is the Love Light You Light Up My Life highlighter, just like a pretty gold. We might use that one. I've got this one. This is like the diamond one. It's kind of like a white iridescent diamond. This is the one that was on the gingerbread little set. So it came with a blush, a bronzer, and the highlighter over here. And I've also got this one, which is so cute. It's got little ice creams on it. Um, this is the Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette. It's got like vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry on the inside. Look how cute is that. So there's a vanilla chocolate and a strawberry so pretty which one do I want to use by the way this one smells like yummy this one pretty gold or the ice cream one hmm Does anyone else do this? Y'all hold your makeup up to your face to see what matches better. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go in with 
this pink one in the middle just to bring out the peachiness. So I've got my Too Faced setting spray. Um, it's a primer and a setting spray, which I forgot to prime my face. I meant to spray this on my face before I started. I also had these little highlighting drops that you can use before you put your makeup on too. Sometimes I use. Um, there's a sparkling pina colada and there's a sparkling pink grapefruit. This is what they look like. So this, this one... Kind of a pretty pinky. There's that one. You can kind of see it on my finger a little bit. And then there's the pina colada one, which is more of a gold. Which is really pretty. Um, but if you put these on under your makeup, I figured out. I tried to use them as like highlighters and it's just the same thing with the liquid. I just don't like it. Um, but if you use it under your makeup, it makes you kind of have just like a glow. Like you don't really see sparkles. The sparkles kind of fade. Um, but it just leaves you with like a pretty glow, which I meant to use it before and I forgot, but... Anyways, I'm going to use the blush out of this palette. So this middle blush here, it's called Daydreamer. And I've got another big fluffy Too Faced brush that I got in a holiday collection. And I'm just going to get some of this blush. And then I'm going to go in with my 3-in-1 setting spray. This has got coconut water in it, and it smells like coconut. It smells really good. Okay, we're going to take the middle shade in this little ice cream highlighter palette, the pink one. And we are going to pop that on the cheeks. The top of the cheeks. And this is another little brush I had gotten in that set. You're in my way. Every time I put highlighter on, it makes me want to dance because it's just like, oh, so pretty. I love it so much. It's the little things that make me happy. Sparkles is one of them. All right, we're going to put a teeny bit here just to make the lip look a little fuller. And I'm going to use my finger for this part. All right, and then one more step. I'm gonna take my pencil brush, my Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I'm actually gonna get this lighter shade here, and I'm gonna do the brow bone. not quite sticking the way I want. Sometimes you can get some product on your brush. Take your setting spray and spray it. See how much better that sticks if you wet it. Um, I've also, sometimes I try to spray my brush and then get the product, but sometimes it like ruins my product in my pan. Like, I will spray my brush, put my wet brush in here to pick some up, and then it's like, 
it creates like a wet spot on my product in my pan. So I have realized if I get the product on the brush, then spray, then put it on, it works the best for me. Okay, that turned out, that turned out so pretty, I love it. The last thing we've got left is lips. So as far as lips for Too Faced, um, I've got this. Raisin the Roof is the shade and it's the High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. All of these came in a little set um, during Christmas. And they're all scented like what they're named after. So like there's a little peppermint one, but it smells like peppermint. I've got this one is the eggnog. It smells like eggnog. Spice cake. Sugar plum. I've also got this, which is the melted liquefied longwear lipstick. This is in the shade sugar. I've got another one, same thing, but this one's chocolate milkshake. And I've also got two lipsticks from Too Faced. Um, this one is called Hey Girl, and it's a like a really bright pinky red. So I don't think that would go. And then I've got this one is called Rebel Heart, and it is more of a true bright red. So neither one of those I think would match this look. I think I'm actually gonna go in with this darker mm. yeah I'm thinking this one the melted um, this is the chocolate milkshake melted lipstick this is what the end looks like it's one of those kind of like things that you squeeze the product out on and then you dispense it onto your lip I don't have any Too Faced liners. Um, I didn't think about that. Oh. oh, it smells so good, like chocolate. It feels really good on the lips too. Yeah, I think that goes really well with the eye. Okay. So, last step, we're going to spray it with our 3-in-1. Um, Alright, and this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and... Too Faced is one of my favorite brands, so it wasn't really hard to create a full face with Too Faced because I love all their products. Um, but I think this look turned out really pretty, especially for spring. It's like a peachy, glowy, kind of a fresh, you just look fresh. I like it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if there's questions you have or anything you'd like to see and i'm going to try to link the products down below so if you're interested in any of them the links will be down below you can click on those and purchase some all right thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time bye